The main application of DAC chips is to provide an analog signal from a sequence of digital codes. As a rule, codes are fed to the inputs of the DAC via the parallel register, which allows for simultaneous variation of all input bits of the DAC code. Voltage pulses appear at the DAC output during non-simultaneous changing of bits of the input code. Their levels do not correspond to any one of the codes. However, even with a simultaneous change of all bits of the input code of the DAC code, the voltage level corresponding to the submitted code is not established immediately, but over the time response of the DAC, which is associated with imperfection of internal elements of the DAC. DAC output current is generally set much faster than the output voltage, as it does not depend on the inertia of the operational amplifier. It is clear that the condition for correct operation of the DAC is that the duration of keeping of the input code should be higher than the time response of the DAC. Otherwise, the output signal will not have time to take a value corresponding to the input code. If codes are submitted to the input of the DAC rarely, the above scheme can be used, for example, in a controlled power supply with the output voltage specified by the input code. In this case, high output current of the power supply should be provided using an external power supply. If codes are supplied to the DAC input with a high frequency, we can get a generator or a synthesizer of analog signals of an arbitrary shape. In this case, codes supplied to the DAC are called the same codes, that is, of instantaneous values of the generated analog signal. In the simplest case, a standard binary counter can be used as an input source code of the DAC. The DAC output voltage will increase with each clock pulse, forming sawtooth outputs. Duration of each step is equal to the period of the clock generation, clock generator T. And the period of the entire output signal is equal to 2 raised to the power of n multiplied by T. Number of steps in the output signal period equals to 2 raised to the power of n. If synchronous counters with the synchronous transfer used in this circuit, no DAC input register is required, since all bits of the counter are switched simultaneously. If a synchronous counters or synchronous counters with a synchronous transfer are used, the DAC input register is required. In case we need to generate analog signals of arbitrary shape, for example, sign, noise, triangle or pulse, the memory running in read mode should be used as a source for codes arriving at the DAC. If the memory is constant, then the set of forms of generated signals is given once and for all. If the memory is operational, a unidirectional information buffer with a periodic mode of operation is built, which will enable to burn codes for generating various signals in the memory. In both cases, the DAC input register is required. Information is recorded in it from the memory with a read strobe.